What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which I think is gonna be a super helpful one because as you can see by the title, in today's video, I'm gonna be going through my personal top five affordable minimal brands. Basically, five stores that you can shop at, look like a king and not break the bank. But yeah, like I said, we're gonna be going through my personal top five affordable minimal brands, but I guess, Kind of like bear in mind guys this is obviously just my personal opinion but at the same time if you do like my kind of minimal slash tonal aesthetic then i think you guys are gonna like these brands too also while i'm talking about each brand i'm gonna pull my personal three favorite items from their website just to kind of give you guys a bit of an idea as to i guess what's available and what I'm kind of currently vibing with. All right, guys, now we've got all the boring intro stuff done, let's get stuck in and take a look at brand number one. Right, guys, so these aren't in any kind of particular order, but the first brand that we're gonna be talking about in today's video is, of course, Cos. So Cos describe themselves as a contemporary fashion brand with a modern, functional, and considered design, and you guys know I am a big big fan. If you don't know, Cos is a Swedish brand and they definitely kind of envisage the whole Scandinavian vibe. So if you like the style that is super clean, you know, no branding and like boxy fits, then you definitely need to take a peek at Cos. It'll be right up your street. But what I really love is their color palettes. So I've taken a look through their website and three of my current favorite pieces that I came across would be their pleated cotton mixed trousers. My God, do I love these. These really give off that kind of whole Izzy Miyake vibe and you guys know I'm a big fan. I also love these wide leg organic cotton jeans. The fit looks insane and I also like the whole um, kind of like faded khaki wash. And then my last choice would be this organic cotton oversized shirt, a proper summer vibe, insane color, big big fan. So that is just three of many different favorites from Cos. And like I said before, if like me, you're into that whole kind of like minimal tonal aesthetic, definitely give Cos a go. You will not be disappointed. By the way, all the brands and all the different pieces that we talk about in today's video will as always be linked in the description down below. Right guys, so next on the list, I'll go with a brand that is kind of slightly lower in terms of price point and that is Collusion, which is a brand that is exclusive to ASOS. And what I find with Collusion is they tend to kind of follow a variety of different, I guess, trends. So it's not all kind of like one particular style, if that makes sense. They've got a huge collection, so it's definitely worth kind of like taking a look through, use the filters to kind of like narrow it down to your personal preference and personal style, and the best thing is it's super, super affordable. So three current pieces that I've picked out that I'm a big, big fan of. Number one, right off the bat, has to be these wide leg denim shorts. Wow. Now I'm gonna be honest guys, I literally just copped these shorts when I seen them like planning this video. I've been on the hunt for a pair of denim shorts in this kind of like color wash for such a long time and when i seen these for the steal of 20 pound i had to cop i'm also a big fan of the black wide leg balloon shorts again 20 pound an absolute no-brainer and then lastly i'd go with the oversized drop shoulder plain white shirt in my opinion this kind of like style shirt is the perfect piece when you're kind of looking to go with that more I guess kind of like smart casual vibe. Those are just three of many pieces that I rate from Collusion. And the best thing is the price. All of those three pieces are coming in at 20 pound each. So super affordable, go and check them out. All right guys, so next brand on the list and kind of, I guess, bumping that price back up to or level to the kind of like cos range, but definitely a lot more affordable um, if you're comparing it to your more high-end designer brand stuff, and that is Arkit. So Arkit is described as a one-stop destination for sustainable, high-quality fashion for both men and women, and I definitely agree. I'm always kind of like super impressed with the like quality of product, finish, 
and fabric. It's pretty similar to COS, you know, super contemporary. However, I would say that COS are a little more kind of like bolder in terms of the cuts and styles of their garments, but that isn't to take anything away from Arkit. Still some beautiful pieces, beautiful cuts and beautiful colors. And on top of that, an amazing in-store experience. If you haven't been um, to an Arkit store, go and check them out. They've got their own kind of like um, cafe slash coffee spot. And I mean, come on, if you know me, brownie points. All right, so three pieces that I am currently rating from Arkit. Number one would be their chunky leather Chelsea boot. I know it's obviously currently summer here in the UK, but you guys know I much prefer autumn slash winter fashion. And I'm definitely looking forward to adding this style boot to my collection ready for the winter months. I'm also a big, big fan of this boxy light blue heavy knit sweater a great piece that can kind of, I guess, like add a pop of color to your outfit. And then lastly would be this beige cotton twill overshirt. And I've actually um, seen this and felt this in store and the quality is insane. So that would be my third pick. Obviously guys, there's loads more items that I love from all these brands. That's why they're in the video, but I'm just kind of, I guess, narrowing it down to three just to kind of keep the flow of the video. But that was brand number, was it three? Brand number three. All right, so next up on the best or top five affordable minimal brands is of course Uniqlo. I couldn't do an affordable brand video and not include Uniqlo. They're the perfect brand with a great mixture of high quality products at super affordable prices. And on top of that, they also have their Uniqlo U collection, which is definitely a little bit more out there. They experiment a lot more with kind of like the cuts and fits of the garments in this collection. And this drop is honestly something that I genuinely look forward to every single season. The price range really can vary, but the first piece that I would pick out hands down every single time would be their socks. This is the only place that anybody should be getting their socks from. They literally have every single shade and tone of every color you can ever need. It's it's literally insane. And then the next piece would be the Uniqlo U oversized t-shirts. The quality of garment that you're getting at £12.90 is ridiculous. It's a must cop. Great selection of colors, great fit, super heavyweight. What more can you want? And then last guys of my three, favorite pieces from Uniqlo would be their 100% extra fine wool turtleneck, multiple different colors to choose from. And on top of that, the perfect kind of like layering piece to get ready for the winter months. So brand number four is obviously Uniqlo, or I guess for me personally, more specifically, the Uniqlo U collection. And then moving on to brand number five. And I guess this is the most kind of like unknown slash independent out of the lot and that is olive clothing. I have actually mentioned these on the channel before but for those of you that are maybe not aware of them, olive clothing are a British contemporary menswear brand that are based out of Cheltenham and the main reason that I'm including this brand in today's video is because I genuinely believe that olive clothing potentially have the best selection of men's trousers and shorts that is available on the market. They're definitely a lot more kind of like experimental with the cuts and fits of their pieces. For example, all their trousers or pretty much all their trousers are kind of like a boxy wide leg fit. And you guys know that is right up my street and that's exactly why they're in today's video. So three current pieces that I've picked out from their collection, one being the black coater, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but we're gonna go with it. The black coater banding wide leg trousers. Obviously they're a nice wide fit in the leg, but at the same time, slightly cropped. And then next would be the ivory wide leg Bermuda shorts. And guys, I need these shorts, like now. In my opinion, these are hands down the best fitting shorts on the market 
In fact, I'm, I'm gonna buy them. After this video, I'm gonna order them. And then lastly, I went with the light blue denim jeans. Now, these are slightly more tapered than my normal kind of style, but I still think these look so sick, super clean, and I'm a big fan of the blue wash. So that would be my initial three pieces. But at the same time, like I've already said, there's so many more pieces from all these brands that I absolutely love. But for the sake of the video, I kind of just narrowed it down to three. But I'm intrigued from these brands, what pieces are you guys rating? Let me know, take a look through and let me know in the comment section down below. And there we have it guys. That is my personal top five affordable minimal brands. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below what would be your top five. And also let me know which out of all those pieces are you guys vibing with. But before we go, I'd really appreciate it if we can take a minute, hop on over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there. It kind of gives you guys uh, an opportunity to kind of see what I'm up to on a daily basis and get more of a kind of like behind the scenes look into me creating all these videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely give me a follow. It's at I'm Nath Griff. It's always in the corner here. I'll pop it up on the screen here and it's always linked in the description down below. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment down below. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's basically a daily vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.